Hi, I'm Iman Moini, artist, and my favorite object at the Aga Khan Museum is the Blue Quran. When I visit the Aga Khan Museum, I feel something different. It's like when you enter a meditation zone, it's calming and cultivating new ways of seeing. It connects me with my identity, not only through the object, but through the building, the music, and the food. Before I talk about the blue Quran and why I chose this piece. Let me say, for Muslims, Quran is the word of God revealed by the angel Gabriel to the prophet Muhammad, first in Mecca and then in Medina between 610 to 632. To me, the Quran is the closest to my heart, closest book to my heart. The sound of recitation, the Quran and the contemplation on, their, on the verses and their meanings. The artistic fact that make this book, for me, stand above other books is the craftsmanship of making of every aspect of this book. When I first saw it at the Aga Khan Museum, I didn't know that it's a piece of from the holy book. Um, the, the calligraphy is Kufic and it's one of the oldest Arab cal calligraphy. It doesn't have the vocalization mark that helped me say the word. So it is unreadable to me. And um, it has gorgeous blue and gold. The actual manuscript has around like 600 uh, pages. It dated back to the 9th century. It's, it, it's, it's incredible to see something last that long to tell the story about the um, history of our material and techniques in the art making. As an artist, I'm into studying old century pigments and technique. So in the world of blue, there are so many blues. There is cobalt, lapis lazuli, Prussian blue, and small. Here in this case, we have like indigo. Indigo, I have some actually to show you the, how dark it is. Um, it's plant-based pigment and it's um, the way they, they, uh, they make it, they soak the leaves in lime and uh, water for days. And then they take the precipitated material and they let it dry and they um, grind it. And the indigo itself, it's used uh, until now in the art and fashion industry. The, um, it has gold. To me, anything has gold, it takes the piece to another level. So the gold uh, itself, it's, um, it has some sort of durability. It makes it chime all the time. And it makes, uh, became a symbol because it doesn't corrode. It became a symbol of immortality and power through the ancient. And um, it's expensive. Uh, it makes it the ideal material for rolling class to show their position. This piece proudly enriched my experience in um, about, enriched my experience about the history of Islamic art and the material and the techniques of making uh, this history and um, gave me the power at the same time uh, to research and create through my artistic career. Again, I'm Iman and thank you for listening to me.